Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix the error. The application was unable to start correctly 0xc000007 b in Windows 11, 10, 8 and 7. So let's dive right in. Start by going to the search bar and writing Task Manager. From the left options, click on Run as Administrator. After the Task Manager is opened, click on the file and Run a new task or sometimes this option is present on right side as you can see mine. A new task window will be opened. Here, click on the Browse button, go to My PC, Local Drive C, Windows and then scroll down to Open System 32. Then again, scroll down to Find CMD in System 32 folder and click Open. This will enter a path in your new task section. In the path, add space and write dash dash update. Then click on OK. This will open the command prompt. Here type the command GP update and hit enter. This will start updating the policy. Wait for a while and a message will show that the computer policy update is successful. Now go to the search bar again and write control panel. Click to open it. From the side option, go to the programs and then click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. In Windows Features, make sure both Net Framework 3.5 and Net Framework 4.8 are selected. If they are not marked, hit the box and click OK. A message will appear saying that Windows needs files to install features. Click on the Let Windows Update Download the Files for You option. Then the required files will start downloading. Wait for a bit until changes are applied. Once done, click on Close. Now close all the windows and open any browser. Search for the DirectX End User Runtime in Google. Click on the first link, which is DirectX Web Installer. Scroll down the page and select your language and click on the Download button. Once the file is downloaded, open the file to start the installation process. Accept the agreement and click Next. Check the box if you want to install the Bing bar and click Next. Again, click Next to install all components. You will see that the downloading has started. Once the installation is completed, click on Finish. After this restart, your computer and you are done. This should resolve your issue and you'll be able to start your application with no trouble. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software Free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.